This is canna extract. Five, 20 grams of canna, canna, and a not true antidepressant. The alkaloid is mesoberine, which should, in, in theory, that's a UV lamp, and this is a sample I have. I extract it and put it with vinegar or acidic acid, 10%. So I'm going to turn on this light, which everything turns pur purplish or blue. Then I'm going to put this up to, to solution. Maybe it's a little bit hard to see, so I'm going to zoom in. You see now? It's glowing a, a bit of green, so meaning the alkaloid is being detected by, by the material. And now I'm going to turn on this light, turn off that glow, that, that uh, near UV lamp. And I'm going to add just a, just a bit of an acid, 10% acidic acid. 10 millimeters of acidic acid and about approximately 200 millimeters of water. This is the acidic acid. Not that bad. I'm just going to add a very small amount. It's too hot. That, maybe, that's about 50 milliliters. I'm going to add about 100. So making it roughly about 5% acidic acid. And this is a natural antidepressant. They recommend acidifying it, then adding baking soda when it's cool. I'm going to do, in, in the second run, a dragon door for the agent to see if I can get the alkaloid to be tested. Filter it and then test it for the alkaloid. As you can see, as you, as you can see quite clearly, it's, it will help digest and break down the, the herb. It is a very cool extract, even though it, 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 I have to re warn that if you're on antidepressants, if you have bipolar, you have anything like that, I do not recommend trying to do this. And, and I, do, I, do, I do not recommend trying this if you have certain mental disabilities, mental disorders. But as the antidepressant of a clean flask and boiling and extracting using baking soda, testing the pH, you could, fit, in theory, make a really good antidepressant solution or herbal. And they just recommend taking the tincture and boiling it in water. But I, I found out if you put it in, a, if you put it with dilute acidic acid, and then add baking soda until the pH is about seven for pH paper, you can get a quite a good antidepressant extract, which I'm doing right now. It's a very really good effective way, and I'll be interested to see if the dragon door free agent under certain UV lights will work better. I have a, a UV lamp that's at 254 nanometers with dragon door free agent. It might turn black or different colors, so i got to figure that out. Thanks for watching.